we'll again go back to George Kelly. And remember, we started from George Kelly only. Let's say this is the plate. And realize that if it can be given a speed through engine, let's say there is engine thrust, then this is the reaction. By now, you are expert. This is the lift. And this is the drag. OK? And of course, there is a weight. We never discussed about what is this point. As far as weight is concerned, we know this is the gravity, center of gravity. Okay? But question is, we have not discussed about this point of application of this aerodynamic forces in terms of its relationship with the center of gravity. That is, whether the center of pressure of the aerodynamic forces should be ahead of center of gravity or behind center of gravity. You understand what is center of pressure? You know what is center of gravity? If this is the mass, I can represent whole effect of this mass, right? All are pulled by M and M I G, and I can represent their effect equivalently by a point called center of gravity. Okay? That is, if practically, if you see, if I put a pointer here which passes through center of gravity, I will be able to balance it. Nothing will happen. If I take this pointer here, this will fall like this. If I take point here, it will fall like this. Right? So, this is the point where everything is balanced. And that is our definition of center of gravity in physical sense. Central pressure is no way different. Here, when you are talking about center of gravity, we are talking about the each individual particle being attracted by force Mi into G. When you talk of center of pressure, you know that a body when interacts with air, there are pressure distributions, right? Okay. And this each pressure distribution will act over finite area, and there will be forces. This pressure gets converted into forces. Now we are asking a question, what is that point where I can represent as if overall effect, total force is acting at that point? Right? That is, about that point, all the moment due to forces, etc., are nullified, zero. That is the center of pressure. It's true that if I change the angle of attack, again the pressure distribution will change. So, for in general, as I change the angle of attack, the center of pressure will also change. But since we are talking in a very small angle, right, it is not unfair to assume that center of pressure is not changing very much. Okay? Because disturbance will be of 2, 3 degrees and we are flying at around 2 to 3 degrees, maximum 7 degrees sometime. So, you know what is the center of pressure. So, I will take at this stage with this minimum understanding that if this is the plate, this is the cord, I can represent total effect of the force lift drag at center of pressure. Okay. This is not exactly the same as aerodynamic center. You know what is aerodynamic center? Aerodynamic center is the point in aerofoil about which the pitching moment is independent of angle of attack. So, you change the angle, pitching moment will not change. For a small angle and for thin aerofoil, practically center of pressure and aerodynamic center numeric will be, will be at the same point, almost close point. So, since we are not doing any course on stability and control, allow me to assume that we will be using center of pressure concept to discuss on stability. Then as on when required aerodynamic center, we will be switching over to aerodynamic center. Right? But you should understand physically they are for this discussion, take them as same. Okay? But strictly they are not same. Please understand. So, let us come back to George Kelly. I hope you understand this diagram. If I take this plate, put it like this. This is what this plate I am talking about and it is moving 
at an angle. Now, let us take a case. Let this plate is having CG at the center of gravity ahead of center of pressure. So, it is going like this. This could be one of the configuration. Now, we want to check whether this has static stability inherent in it or not, number one. Second case we will discuss if CG is here and CP is here, whether it has inherent static stability or not. And third case, obviously, you all will tell, will discuss third case when CP and CG are at same point. I am sure once we explain first two, third one, you will, yourself will be able to predict. Okay. So, let us see this point very carefully. Let us, let me draw this flat plate. relative air speed and let us see that I want to disturb it by some angle delta alpha. Delta I use because we are trying to remind you that we are talking about small angle disturbance. Okay? Because if you give a large angle disturbance, then aerodynamics may be non-linear. So, uh, we are not going there. Okay? And let us see one case where C p is here and C g is somewhere here. What is the meaning of that? The center of pressure is ahead of center of gravity when I am flying like this. Now, what question I am going to ask? I am going to ask whether this plate exhibits static stability or not in terms of angular motion. Correct? The moment I disturb it by delta alpha, what is our George Callis postulation or guidance to us? So, it will generate lift okay? and it will generate drag. Now, you are expert about it. Now, we have agreed that point of application of aerodynamic forces will represent at center of pressure. I remind you conventionally we present it at the aerodynamic center for an aerofoil. But we have agreed for time being we will not mix up these two issues, we will be only using center of pressure. Now, if there is a disturbance delta alpha, we know here there will be lift, there will be drag. What this lift and drag will do? This lift and drag will give further moment like this about CG, the body loaded about CG. So, whatever delta alpha you have given, this plate will further increase the angle of attack. Am I correct? because this lift and drag will give a moment like this. So, nose up. So, it will further increase the angle of attack. Does it have any initial tendency to come back to where from it started? That is, does it have initial tendency to come back to this state 1 where it was in equilibrium? Yes or no? Definitely no, because small angle, the cent small disturbance if I give, center pressure will have lift and drag and they will rotate this plate and go to some other orientation. So, it does not have any initial tendency to come back to the equilibrium. Okay. So, I will call this is statically unstable. Many of you may get a question, what happens if the disturbance in the negative direction? which is natural. So, let us see for negative disturbance. Suppose this is the plate. Many of you will have a question, what happens if this disturbance is negative, which is very natural. right? It should come. If it is not coming, that means you are not understanding. So, again revisit, then that's, this question must come to your mind. Okay? So, let us see. If I give a disturbance, so that this plate
you have some negative alpha, negative delta alpha. As you know, center of pressure is ahead of center of gravity. This is the case we are studying, investigating. Now, for negative alpha, again George Kelly, so forces will be downward. So, lift direction this way and drag will be this way. So, you could see that this also again will give a moment about CG in this manner, which will further take this to negative angle. So, it will not have any initial tendency to come back to that equilibrium, which is the state this. Is it clear? With negative angle, force acts downward and this will rotate this plate like this, the plate will further go like this. So, you could see whether there is a positive angle disturbance, negative angle disturbance. As long as Cp is center of pressure is ahead of center of gravity, this will only give static instability or you call it will be statically unstable. To make it statically stable, what should be done? By now you know the answer, I am sure you know the answer. To make it statically stable, See, as per the center of pressure is concerned, that you cannot change because that depends upon the geometry. Okay. What you can do? You can ensure that the CG location is different. Right. So, now what we should do? We have seen that if CP or center of pressure is ahead of CG uh, flying like this, it is a statically unstable case. So, I want to ensure that the center of pressure, if it comes to the back, what will happen? And central pressure coming back, it is a relative statement. Central pressure you are not changing for this plate. For this plate, you, are, you can change the center of gravity. Let us say by distributing this mass in the plate, I have ensured that central pressure remains same place and center of gravity has come ahead of center of pressure. Is this clear diagram? Now, the center of pressure is behind center of gravity and you are flying like this. So, now if this was Cg and some are center of some are here. Now, if it is disturbed like this, what will happen? I have given a disturbance like this delta alpha, what will happen? The lift force will act here, drag will act here. Now, you see Cg is ahead of center of pressure. So, this will give a moment like this, which we call nose down moment. What this moment will do? This moment will ensure there is an initial tendency to bring this plate back to the equilibrium, right? Because it will give a nose down moment like this. So, it possesses static stability because it has an initial tendency to bring it back towards the equilibrium. So, what is the learning? Learning is if I somehow can make sure that center of pressure is behind center of gravity, then I should be able to ensure this plate has static stability. This is also by common sense you can understand more this separation between center of pressure and center of gravity, it will be more stable because the moment will be larger. As the distance increases, the restoring moment also will increase. So, it will become very stiff. Okay. So, for static stability, the center of pressure should be behind center of gravity. This much we have understood. Okay. Now, the question comes, suppose this is a plate, same plate we are talking about. Okay. And you can assume that if it is a uniformly distributed plate, the center of gravity will be almost at 50 percent. Somewhere here, center of gravity will be there. Now, you know the center of pressure also will be around at 25 percent, generally 25 percent from the leading edge of the cord, almost like this aerodynamic center. Okay. 
So, center of pressure in normal case it will be somewhere here. So, if this is this is a plate of uniform mass, this is a case where center of pressure is ahead of center of gravity. So, this is a statically stable case or a statically unstable case. We know that if center of pressure is ahead of center of gravity, it is a statically unstable case. You can cross check if there is a disturbance, there will be a force here which will give a moment here, so it will further go up like this. So, there is no restoring tendency when center of pressure is ahead of center of gravity. But we want to make sure that do something so that this becomes statically stable. So, what one option is what? Okay, if this is the center of pressure, let me not change the center of pressure. I somehow redistribute the mass and bring Cg here. I can do that, I can make this portion heavier, I can move the Cg from here to here. Now, center of pressure is behind center of gravity, so statically stable. Think of a situation for an aircraft. For an aircraft, the center of gravity is more decided by the layout designer, where there will be chair, where the passengers will be sitting, where will the car go, right? Where is the engine located? All these things decide the center of gravity. And if you tell the layout designer, you please shift the CG. The, he will simply say, thank, thank you very much, I will not do anything. There is always fight between layout designer and an aerodynamic designer. So, changing CG is not a very easy option beyond a certain point. So, what we do? We tell the layout designer, you keep the CG around 35 to 40 percent, whatever depending upon thing. Then we try to put the wing, etc., etc. So, let us forget about, for aircraft, let us forget about that to change the CG, say CG we will not be able to change, let us say that dictum, CG we cannot change. We want to make it statically stable, but center of pressure is ahead of center of gravity. So, how to make it statically stable? What do we do? We create another pressure distribution somewhere here, so that the resultant of this and this ensures that the point of location is behind CG. Possible? Suppose, I have one reaction here and one reaction here, the resultant is somewhere here. Let us say I am looking from here. Now, if I want to shift this to this point, what I can do? I can shift this to somewhere here, okay, it is a moment that will shift this resultant, because ultimately question is what is that point? where I can put all the forces, so that net moment is 0. So, this gives us a hint. What do we do? Let us say I attach a stick with it and put another surface here, smaller surface and ensure that once it is in motion at some angle, there is a pressure distribution over this there is a pressure distribution over this, because now it will be moving some angle. Ensure that this pressure distribution and this pressure distribution when they are combined, the total, total center of pressure is brought from here to behind center of gravity. It is possible. Okay, now, for any angle some force will be here, some force will be here. So, resultant can be pushed as long as I decide what is the length from here to here and what is the area, that is how much moment I am giving, like that example. What is the small portion I have drawn here? If we now try to look for an aircraft, if I cover it like this, you could see this is the wing and this is what? This is the stabilizer. This is the horizontal tail, or we call it horizontal stabilizer. Because by putting this stabilizer with the appropriate area and at the appropriate location, I can bring the overall center of pressure behind center of gravity, which is here. 
the center of it. So the center of gravity was here. Now the center of pressure is somewhere here. Now I know center of pressure of the overall system is behind center of gravity. So now it is statically stable. Do you think the problem is solved? We are only talking about stability. So what is our main problem? Main problem is, it is not only static stability, we want to control it also. That is, we also want to take the airplane from one equilibrium to another equilibrium or one angle of attack to another angle of attack. And that is typically a control problem. We know by sheer common sense that if a system is highly stable, that is the distance between center of pressure and center of gravity is very large and center of pressure is behind center of gravity, then as I increase this distance, this aircraft or this body will go on becoming highly stable, statically stable. So highly statically stable means it will resist any change. If it is flying at 2 degree, it will fly at, it will resist. If you want to make it 3, it will say, no, I will not allow, I am statically highly stable. So you have to control it, you say, nothing doing, place move, okay? And that is the control aspect. So if you see here, this was the plate. This is the rod and the here I have put a horizontal surface, surface to ensure that the overall center pressure comes behind the center of gravity. Although please understand the moment I put a tail here, the original center of gravity is supposed to come a little backward. So I'm neglecting that, that's small. But more I'm focusing on, I should generate enough pressure distribution or force per, for a given angle of attack so that the overall center of pressure comes behind center of gravity. And let's say I'm successful in doing that by selecting appropriate area of the stabilizer and the moment arm, that is distance from the center of gravity. Assume that has happened. So it has become statically stable. So I say the CP has come, let's say, somewhere here. Okay, But now you want to take it to some angle, say 1 degree or 2 degree, you want actually now. Now you want to rotate. I want to take it to 3 degrees, let's say. Suppose it was flying at 1 degree, I am now trying to take it to 3 degrees, so I have to rotate it. But the problem is the aircraft is statically stable. The moment I will try to take it away from equilibrium, it will generate a force here and a nose down moment, you say nothing doing, I will not allow you to go. So as I said, you have to overcome that. How do I overcome that? Now I, what I do, I deflect some portion of this vertical stabilizer. And now what will happen as it is moving like this, you know by George Calais, it will generate a force downward. And this force will give a moment in the nose up direction. So whatever, because of static stability it was resisting, if I can counter this by appropriate deflection here at a given speed, then I will be able to manage this at this angle and still there won't be any net moment, right? Because that net moment is zero now. This restoring moment is cancelled by the moment because of this deflection. So this is again a case where net moment is zero. So we say it is again has come into equilibrium, new state. So now I can fly at three degrees. At this equilibrium state, if there is a disturbance, then because it is statically stable, it will try to maintain or it will have a tendency to initial tendency to maintain the three degrees. So this is what is done in control. You can understand if this separation between CG and CP was very large, then this moment would have been very large. So this moment also required would have been very large. So the deflection here should have been also very large. So you say it is very difficult to control if it is highly statically stable. Now you could you recognize this part, you have recognized wing. This part, you have recognized horizontal tail. And what is this part? Which is giving the pitching moment. Pitching means about y-axis. 
in a vertical plane moving like this. What is this? This controls the pitching motion and this is called, you know by now, called elevator. So the concept behind flying is clear now. One thing, you have to make it statically stable by ensuring that the center of pressure of the overall airplane is behind center of gravity. Second thing, you should have elevator to control it. Elevator powerful enough to give that moment to counter the restoring moment. And you also know that the whole task of making this aircraft stable lies with the horizontal surface. Okay, the primary role in normal case. That's why we call it a horizontal stabilizer. With this understanding, we'll now go and analyze aircraft. Aircraft, static stability, and control in a very preliminary sense, because stability and control is a second course. But since we are talking about performance, we need to know a little bit, okay, CL is there, CD is there, how the airplane will generate. To satisfy that query, I'm covering this in maybe two or three, four, maximum four lectures. Okay, thank you.